Hola, it's Kaipacha with the Weekly Pele Report for December 7th of 2022. How's it going out there? We've got the full moon horizon. I feel... No. I see a bad moon horizon. That could be the uh, theme song for today because it's conjunct Mars. Mars is bad. <laughs> At the exact same degree, uh, you know, 16 degrees, uh, you know, like two minutes. And Mars is up there like 16 degrees, 15, 16 minutes of Gemini. The, the sun is at 16 degrees, two minutes of Sagittarius. So, wow, it's not just a full, this is no ordinary full moon, okay? This is power packed. And uh, you'll be feeling it now, and you'll be feeling it for a couple of days, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, kind of tapering off. By Friday, we've got Venus, uh, you know, in late Sagittarius, uh, coming into a square with Jupiter in late Pisces. Mutable signs, Sagittarius, Pisces, Venus squaring Jupiter. And then Venus goes into Capricorn, uh, you know, on Friday also. So it, you know, passes up Jupiter. Jupiter will be uh, heading, of course, into Aries pretty darn soon too, right? You know, that's, uh, that's coming up very shortly. It's in the final degrees here of Pisces, moving away from Neptune, but still got that Neptune-Pisces influence. I'm going to talk a little bit about that Venus square. So the moon is going to move on from Gemini into Cancer by Friday. Cancer, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, goes into Leo. In the meantime, on Saturday, she squares Chiron, trines Neptune. On Sunday, comes into an opposition with Pluto. Oh, yeah. Trine Jupiter before she goes into Leo. So we got a few different things going on this week. It's kind of a busy time, a busy week. And let me look at the camera, talk about it a little more. We do, the good news I'd say is, you know, it's, it's the sun moving through fiery Sagittarius is coming into a nice sextile with Saturn on Monday. Yeah. So let's just uh, hear a little bit more about it. Okay. Let's give this baby a shot. Uh, full moon in Gemini. Gemini, the sign of gadgets. Aquarius and Gemini love their gadgets, love their toys. I got myself a microphone. <laughs> yeah. So this is a test pilot program. Now I can be as far away from the camera as I want. I am a free bird, Sagittarius. Loves it. I can move. I can. I could walk up the creek while I talk to you about the aspects this week. And of course, you know, I'm a little nervous. I hope it comes out. I don't have to, you know, record the Pele report ten different times, <laughs> trying to get this thing to work. Anyway, what else is new? Boom. You know, right now I'm in the middle of teaching a course on the astrology of relationships. And we had a group of people that came to Costa Rica to learn astrology. And they had to travel. They had to find accommodations. They had to get some food together. They had to get some money together. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm doing it online. It's going to lower the price, lower the cost, make it more convenient. It's, all, their, all the sessions are going to be recorded. You can do it at your leisure, uh, and it's going to be four different modules. So the first one is your, your chart. The second one is comparing charts. The third one is a composite chart, putting two charts together. And the fourth one is transits to your chart, to, to their partner's chart, to the composite chart, and tying it all together. This is a whole series. It's going to go every other month. Starting in January, January 7th and 8th is the first day of this new course. It will be outrageous. I mean, you'll be able to, you know, use 
astrology to understand yourself, your relationships, and help other people understand theirs by the time you're done with this course. Very powerful. Every other month, so, you know, two times four is going to be like eight months. This is really going to go on. If you'd like to check it out, the link will be below. Or you can just go to the New Paradigm Astrology website. Yeah. And it'll be right there on the home page. Check out the Astrology of Relationship online course. We're delving deep into the nature of love, sexuality, emotional connection, need for communication, past life, twin flame, soulmate, union. I mean, it is got it all. Astrology is so phenomenal, so amazing. And this particular time right now, every full moon is this culmination from the new moon to the full moon, we're building, waxing, developing ourself, our resources, our creative expression, you know, what we have to bring to the world. And then the full moon is like the show goes on. The curtains open up. Everybody looks at us. Everybody sees us. And we enter into participation with the greater whole. And the participation with the greater whole starts, of course, with relationships, one-on-one, -on -one. business relationship, partnership. This is the seventh house, Libra, moves into Scorpio, then Sagittarius. So this full moon, okay, you may be feeling it's time to come out. It's time to emerge. And of course, Mars being there, okay, wants to come out even more powerfully, stronger, stretch your stuff, show what you got, yeah, talk, talk up a storm with Gemini, but here's the thing, and this is a little bit about what the mantra is for this week, I also want to read to you the Sabian symbol, because these both kind of reinforce this retrograde Mars. Retrograde Mars. Now Mars came into Gemini in August and it came all the way up to 25 degrees around the middle of September. Yeah, it came through where it is now, 16 degrees. And then it continued on until the end of October. October 30th or so, it's stationed, and now it's going retrograde, back over where it was in the middle of September. Think of where you were in the middle of September, what you were thinking, contracts you were signing, conversations you were having, uh, you know, classes you were designing or taking, or books you were reading, or think of all this intellectual, mental, even computer, social media posts. Go back to the middle of September because that was when Mars was, yeah, you know, I got new ideas, new relationships, new communication, you know, new teachings, new understanding. But then now it's retrograde and it, go, and it keeps going back. Okay, it keeps going back right up until January 11th. It goes back to eight degrees of Gemini. Then it goes direct forward again. And it will come back to 16 degrees where it is now, only going direct. Okay, February 21st. So these dates, there's a linkage here. The new moon, okay, started in Sagittarius, and we're coming around. We've got this full moon of illumination. Really, aha, like really light, lighting up, okay? What we want to say, what we want to do, papers we need to sign, agreements we need to make or break, communications that we need to have, relationships, networking, 
new business associations. I mean, it's this is all like a lot of monkey mind stuff going on. But it started in September. And now with the retrograde, review, reflect, recheck, rewrite, renegotiate, rebel, repair, rejuvenate, retrograde. Is this easy for Mars? Does Mars like to go backwards? Absolutely not. Mars wants to charge forward, spontaneous, instinctive, impulsive, act now, think later. And now it's got what? Boom. It's that, that impulse is running into blocks, stops, obstacles. Wait a minute. Don't be the eternal youth of Gemini, okay? You know, don't be too spontaneous, too impulsive. Think things through. Slow down. Edit. You know, before you, you know, publish something, you need to go back and read it 10,000 times and dot your I's and cross your T's and Mars is like, uh, 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 uh. You know, this frustrated masculine energy sometimes leads to war, it leads to debates, it leads to arguments. And when the moon comes around, they're emotional arguments. The moon also has to do with the past. So this is reflecting on the past, looking at what has gone down before, even before September. Yeah, this could be, you know, going way back to the beginning of the Mars cycle when Mars was conjunct the Sun over a year ago. But the interesting thing here is the Sabian symbol kind of reinforces the same kind of thing. Let's not forget Mercury just went into Capricorn. Now Venus is going to go into Capricorn, ruled by Saturn. Patience, endurance, maturity, objectivity, really, you know, looking at the big picture responsibly for the next seven generations. Does Mars want to do that? In Gem Does Gemini want to do that? Not so much. <laughs> So, kind of interesting. We have this powerful Saturn moving through Aquarius that says you need to take into account the impact of your words and your deeds on everybody. You do not live in a vacuum. You live in society. You've got community. You've got friends. Moon's going to move into Cancer. You've got family. So this is a time. And now check out the Sabian symbol. The head of a robust youth changes into that of a mature thinker. The keynote is the transformation of physical vitality into the power to build concepts and intellectual formulations through which knowledge can be transferred. Channels of communication, the robust youth of Gemini matures into this Mercury, Venus in Capricorn, Saturn in Aquarius, right? To really transfer knowledge. While in the preceding symbol, we see the explosive release of impulses generated by a new realization of what is right and wrong, sun in 
Sagittarius, right? The truth, right and wrong, okay? You got uh, the, the previous symbol. Let me go to the previous symbol. A woman activist in an emotional speech dramatizes her cause. Now that's the 16th degree of Gemini. We're reading the 17th degree. The full moon is at 16 degrees, zero two minutes. So just changed, just changed the degree, right? So, you know, we still have this, a passionate response to a deeply felt new experience. So now we have this, you know, this shift. So, the preceding symbol is this explosive release of impulses generated by a new realization of what is right and wrong. The woman or feminine way controlled by feelings, a passionate response, right? Now we have a picture of a process of quiet and steady metamorphosis of biological energy into mind power, mind power, which can be symbolically seen as the male or the man way. The symbolism may seem old fashioned today, but the two contrasting approaches to communication of new experiences remain evident, however one wishes to symbolize them. What we see pictured is the transformation of emotions into mind, of instincts into thoughts, a process of mental metamorphosis. So, what can we say? This is a good week to review things. This is a good week to go to a workshop. This is a good week to read a book, to meditate or contemplate the real truth, the meaning of your life, the purpose of your life, so that your Martian actions are in alignment with a higher truth. This is the Sagittarius Gemini full moon axis. And what we can say is, at this time, you may also be feeling this passionate, feeling, fiery moon Mars energy. It's not just moon Mars. Venus is square Jupiter. Jupiter can bring too many feelings. In Pisces, it can bring overwhelm. We can be psychically overwhelmed. We can be emotionally overwhelmed. We can really want to indulge or explore or dream or, you know, have so many feelings. It can be hard, okay, to just like relax sort out and really patiently pave the way for this new beginning. But it's a really great week, yeah? For communicating, for talking things over, for, you know, <clears throat> for new business opportunities, new business projects, you know, meeting new friends, networking, organizing your website, putting together online courses. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, it's just like, this is Mars, you know, really rehashing, re-editing, rehearsing so that the play can go on. And what we're, what we're really going to see is after 111, after January 11th, when Mars goes direct, Everything that we've been editing, preparing, reading, taking in, okay, 
is going to like really come out. Yeah. So the, the more you, the more you review now, you know, the more you really get it together, you know, and highlight and underline and straighten and structure and mature, you know, really think through your plan rather than rushing headlong, charging, pushing. That's, that can lead to mistakes. That can lead to errors. That can lead to accidents, car accidents, car repairs, bicycles, trains. Gemini is, you know, short distance travel, transportation, journeys, trouble with your neighbors. Maybe you need to rethink that lot line or that fence or those flowers. Yeah. Work things out with your neighbors, siblings, Gemini, brothers and sisters, some family dynamics may be coming up with this full moon. So just, you know, really, Pura Vida, stay calm, salud, have a cervezas, <laughs> chill out, talk things through in a nice orderly fashion and turn that youthful, energized, passionate youth into a mature thinker. Yeah. So, namaste. Aloha. So much love. Bye.